let's go, let's go. Let's go back to the, uh, where Quick, is it going by now? Escapes. escapes. I need to get back to my car. Park my car over here. Where's it going? Oh. Same place, but other side. The legs are weak. Yeah, we, we need to get a, a reasonable position to fight from. Alright, we can fight from the other side of this. This is fine. Still too far away for me to uh, to attack, so I need to get closer, find a different a different angle, a better angle. Where's the weak spot? There. Reloading. Alright, we've done a lot of damage there. We close this leg. What's gonna give us next? Head or reinforcements? Reinforcements. Alright, let's get the reinforcements over here. I wonder if it does uh, friendly fire damage. Oh, where do you come from? That was rude. Man, I would have been really annoyed if if that thing had held me out in the open and I gotten killed by the uh, by the worm. I would have been very annoyed. All right, good. Alright, we're onto the head conduits now. Now's our chance. I can't hit it from here? What the hell? I need to be closer? Like, how close do I need to be? Hey, it's the target. Yeah, I know, I know, but like... Oh, there we go. It's not exposing the head to me, which is weird. I guess I need to be closer. I mean, I'd really rather not. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it, I'm on it. But those machine guns are nasty. I can't shoot it through there, apparently. It's not giving me any damage, register. And on this side, it seems to close up the head. Oh, now it's open. Seems to be a range limitation. Let's try to work it from this angle again. Hit the head. It's open. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Cover, please. I need health. All right, here we go. All right. Can you guys help me out, please? All right, good, 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 good. Let's 
resist and gets area denial attack. Now it's gonna do machine gun. Right? Oh, as soon as I hit my power turbocharge, it took its head away. Alright, that's fine. Now we're gonna do a cycle with the um, reinforcement remnant. Yeah, let him come over here and then we'll attack them. Where are they? Here they are. Back to legs, are we? Try to shoot from here. I'm trying to find the weak spot of this thing, but I'm not sure where it is. There? to get the last leg. It closed. Okay, we're going into one more reinforcement round. No problem. We'll do a reinforcement round. Yeah, yeah. Deal with them as they come. Back to legs. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're back to the head conduit. How's it gonna attack me? How will you attack? Area denial? I got you. And then grenades, and now probably the machine gun, right? It's too far away. Come on, you guys hit the head. I'm hitting the head. I'm working on it. Grenades, what's your next attack? Area denial. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill it. Are you kidding me? Still not dead? Got it. Boom. Woo. Oh, what do we have to do? We have to interface with the conduit architects? Alright, buddy. Sam. Apparently, we have to interface. This is your chance, Sam. Interface! Boom! 
Ryder, it's Hainley back at the outpost. The seismic readings just went crazy. What happened? You didn't see? A remnant the size of a building. What? At least you made it and kept that thing away from the outpost. Nice work. How did you not see this battle? Whew, what do we get here? A bunch of materials, a shield oscillator, which we have lots of, remnant cores, which we have lots of. Ooh, what's this? Fusion mod of Biotic Mastery 1. We lose melee damage, we lose weapon damage, we lose tech damage, we lose... A lot of damage in order to get 30% more Biotic Power damage. I mean, we're gonna take it all. It sounds interesting. I've got a, an AVP bonus that uh, allows me to cut the negatives of these fusion mods in half. By the way, I don't know where I parked the car. I think I parked it on that side? Yeah, it's over there. Um, but you know what? We can just fast travel because we're done here. We don't need to get back in the car. Um, I've got an AVP perk that cuts the negative effects of those um, of those fusion mods in half. So maybe it's not minus 10%, but maybe minus 5% for most of those. Uh, I'll check it in the loadout screen. Uh, where's my loadout thingy? It's over here. So if I were to look here and click there, no, it is minus 10%. I mean, those are some pretty, I mean, 10% weapon damage, 10% combat power damage, just to get 30% more biotic power damage. I mean, I don't really, nah, I don't really rely on the biotic power damage output. I really rely a lot more on just having it to recharge my shields and get around the field quicker. So not really what I want. And in fact, that reminds me. I guess I can't switch profiles here for whatever reason. It's kind of annoying. I can't take my weapon out. All right, anyway. So that's great. We we beat a remnant architect, AKA a worm. This stuff team seemed to work pretty well. They were relatively durable, the two of you. Um, and it was a grind, but it wasn't a horrible, impossible grind, like when I tried to take the one on, uh, take out the Arctic and Vold. I think the cover situation here is a bit better too than the one we had on Vold. Uh, but I feel we can now go back to Vold and try to take on that worm as well. Uh, now that we kind of know that we're comfortably within the range that we need to be power-wise to do that. Now we did get a bunch of points for that, right? We got seven skill points. What do we want to do with seven skill points? We've maxed out turbocharge, we've maxed out assault rifles and shotguns, which are the two weapon classes that we're using right now. And Omni Grenade. And I don't really want any more of these combat skills. I don't know what combat... Look at combat tools. What do we have here? 18% combat power damage. That would improve my grenades. And presumably improve my turbocharge as well. 18% melee damage. I like I do use melee, so that would be good. 18% combat detonator damage bonus, that would be a waste. Hover duration and accuracy while airborne. I don't really care. 100 damage resistance while evading could be nice. You know, if I'm dashing out of the way of something nasty, then I get extra resistance to help me survive. This one is kind of a waste for both of them because I don't have any combat detonators. And I don't usually use jump melee. Maybe I should use jump melee, I don't know. Aerial combat. Melee, increase melee damage bonus with each melee hit or melee kill. So I get a 5% bonus with each hit. Ends after 20 seconds have passed without a melee kill. I don't get melee kills that often. With this one, I'd have to specifically look to do melee finishers in order to keep it up. So I might invest in this. I mean, this isn't bad. Like these first three, these first two at least are pretty good for me, right? They're kind of no brainers. 18% combat power damage, just a better grenade. 18% melee damage, just, just a straight upgrade, right? So that wouldn't be bad. Um, 
The other option would be to go into Biotics and I maybe mean, could get a better Nova. Is containment worth anything to us? I mean, it's not terrible. Biotic effect, eh. Force, yeah. Biotic damage bonus to shields, eh. Okay, fine, that's not bad. So we have 73% points invested in biotics. We have 108 points invested in combat which is multiplying the effectiveness of combat fitness by a lot. But if we invested more in biotics, we could also improve our barrier, which is giving us more max shields and stuff like that. Um, hmm. If I were to invest in, in this, I could max out my Nova. So just we'd have a, a max out Nova. I don't know if I'd do either one of these. To be honest, this one's not terrible. I might, like this is all kind of nice to have, but not must have. Same for all of this. The other option is to start building Singularity, right? So Singularity primes combo detonations, and then Nova can detonate combo de detonations. Sorry, not Nova, charge. So you could do Singularity and charge, which would be setting up our own biotic uh, combos. Which would be kind of cool. But to set up our own combos, there are other ways to do it too. We could always just use incendiary ammo and just set things on fire and then detonate that, for example. Uh, Annihilation is an option, although I don't really want it. Because it has that big um, recharge penalty. Yeah, maybe we should try, a, we could do this to open up a whole new way of playing, you know? For now, we're just gonna get do some no regret stuff that we'll for sure like. So we'll do this, we'll do this. Like there's just no way to regret that. And then in biotics, we have four points, which we'll save for now. All right, let's get back on our ship. figure out our next move. Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. Hello? Hello. No emails for me. Um... Now the next thing for PB was to go to Havaro. And we have another thing there, which is to call Addison from Havaro. 
which would allow us to, I guess, improve the viability of Havaro. Because right now the Havaro viability is just 80%. Maybe if we talk to Addison from Havaro, we can get an outpost or some presence from the initiative on Havaro, and that would improve its viability. Nothing to scan. And after Havaro, maybe we head back to Vold. Task unearthed, PB Remnant Scanner, Cross Cultural Alliances, Rokar Manifestos. Alright. Since we're doing things for PB, let's bring PB. And for the sake of variety. Uh, well, let's bring Jal. Also, this is an Angaran world, so why not? Confirm. Entering atmosphere. LZ in sight. We are back at Havaro. Let's just do a quick fast travel here to get to where we need to get to. There's apparently a mission here of some description. Uh, an undiscovered mission, that is. There's so many things here. Can I just... Perfect. Do it, boss. We did it. Were the projections so dire? Where am I going? Well, I'm going over here. Can I get in through the window? Excuse me, let me in. No, I guess I can't break that window. God damn it. Oh, just grab the edge. Why has everything got to be difficult? Why even have this thing on two levels, honestly? Hollow communicator. The reports didn't do this world justice. It's ethereal. All right. Director Addison, I imagine you have concerns that we haven't placed a full outpost? Frankly, it's impressive you weren't covered in vines on landing. Given the planet's significance to the Angara, it's appropriate that we assist, but not place an outpost. This is their homework. And the stability you brought? I think. I received a thank you from Aya. That may be the first time I've heard those words in Andromeda. Nice. After the cat and what they've seen of the exiles, we had to be at our best. We've had precious few examples of that. Pathfinder might be getting close. That's me, the best. The barrel helps. Outpost or not, we're gaining. We need another, but we're gaining. Although it's probably not enough to draw out one of Dr. Kennedy's trackers, you'll have to look in outpost systems elsewhere. I still need your voice. Something they can think about instead of an outpost flag. We're still here, still doing important work. Then tell them that. Uh, say hello to Angaran Earth. Exploration continues. This is Havaro. I didn't find an outpost. I found Angara and saw a piece of who they are. We're welcome to help here. It's not ours. It's all of ours. I think that makes the whole cluster closer to home. Into the books, Pathfinder. Add us now. I didn't like that. Maybe the other one would be better. See, now Havaro viability is 100%. So we are, we are cooking with gas. Hawkins McIntyre? Who the hell are you? Ah, you'll be the Pathfinder then. Dr. McIntyre from the Nexus. So how's right. your deal? Welcome to Havaro. She'll be more welcoming now that you put the vault back on track. The Angara invited us to monitor plant growth and study ruins out in the jungle. It's the chance of a lifetime. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. What is your job, sir? What does your team do here? 
Zera is our botanist. She'll be minding the plants and designing an artificial habitat for them. She also happens to be an engineer. Asari, one profession's never enough. Yeah, yeah. Then there's young Farley. He's here for the insects. And you? I'm the xenoanthropologist. A fancy word for talking to the Angara about those ruins. And listening. Alright. Um. Goodbye. Good luck, McIntyre. Safe journeys, Ryder. Alright, there was a small mission around here somewhere. Or an undiscovered mission, rather. I don't know if it's small or big or what. Nexus scientists. What's your Pathfinder deal? Rider, Dr. Tsana Rilar, Xenobotanist for the Initiative, and my colleague, Dr. Eric What a coincidence. Baumgarten. You have the same Asari Zeno face as every other Asari. Pleasure to meet you. This world is your toy box. It's dangerous out here. No offense, but you probably shouldn't be out here alone. I'm not alone. I'm with her. She's quite fierce. Your report of accelerated evolution and rapid growth of nature here caught our interest. Oh, indeed. We're analyzing everything we can for clues to replicate the effects on our own crops. What a terrible idea. That could be useful. It would have interesting applications. If there's a way to control the process. Uh -huh. You understand the end goal. If we learn to enhance the growth of plants and animals in non-destructive ways, we could end hunger. It would change everything for the initiative. Our colonies could thrive virtually overnight. Since you repaired the vault, things are returning to normal, but too quickly for us. The accelerated life forms you want to study are dying off, decaying. We're scrambling to scan and catalog everything before it's gone. We could use some help. No promises. Point me at the life forms you need. I'll do the rest. Maybe. Anything mutated beyond its baseline growth cycle will aid our work. I'm not going on a scavenger I'll provide hunt. the most promising genetic markers to scan for. Thank you for whatever help you can provide, Pathfinder. Rendezvous here when you're finished. This is not a priority for me. I've got 100% uh, viability on this planet, so I don't need more. What I do want... Wait, it's just here? I thought it was going to be like a scavenger hunt out in the jungle. What's this? Upload, upload, upload. Mutated critters. Oh, and I have to go actually do it. Well, I mean, again, if it happens, it happens, I guess. But that's not the mission that we have, so... We have a mission for... PB... Where are you at? It's over here. There's no... I guess that's the fastest fast travel and we can go from there. And while we're here we can do this thing with the real core. Since we're already there. Affected this area. I recommend scanning for accelerated growth. Back to this profile. The life forms in this area display accelerated growth markers. Yeah, yeah, accelerated growth markers. Let's move on. How dare you! Where are they?
container. 